What's up guys, Matt with Remedy Pain and Performance. This week we're talking about how important movement is and how important it is for you to be able to sit and stand. So we're talking about the sitting rising test and I attach two articles to the bottom of the video. The first one is a news article explaining the sitting rising test kind of in layman's terms. Second one is the research behind the article. So you can check either of those out. Basically some researchers from Brazil, uh, they did some testing with some elderly people and determine that people's ability to stand up to seated and then come back up without using their hands kind of predicted how long they could live. So they said if you kind of failed at that test, you were two times more likely to die within the next six years. Okay, so I'm going to show you the test. Nobody's allowed to freak out yet. Okay, so I'm going to start standing. Basically, I'm going to lower myself down to seated without using my hands. So fully seated position, then I want to be able to get back up from this position without using my hands or touching my knees. Okay, so basically you deduct a point if you touched a leg or a hand to the ground and anything under an eight was kind of an increased risk of death within the next few years for elderly. Again, if you can't do that test, do not freak out. I'm not telling you you're going to die tomorrow. Okay, relax. Don't worry about it. I'll show you a few ways to kind of improve that. Um, so I know a lot of some people watching this probably are freaking out thinking about even attempting to do that So here's some easy things you can work on to get to that point first things first Starting from seated to standing so sit on a chair on your couch, right your ability to be able to do this without your hands Pushing off your leg or the sides of your chair is huge Okay, so start there if that's pretty easy for you you can see how you do standing off one leg, right? So we do a lot of single leg squats to work on single leg balance and strength. So that's an easy test for you to test on either leg. If you can do those, you can start working more toward doing some stuff on the ground and being able to get up and down from there, okay? So movement is important is the moral of this video, right? We should be able to stand and sit without much issue. Go ahead and work on that either seated with both legs or with one leg, and improve from there. That's all for this week. Catch you next time. Thanks.